What's going on, game players? How are you guys doing? Man, let me tell you something. I have four. That's right, four people in here. Four special guests that are joining me. First up, I want to introduce you guys. This is his first time on here. This guy has been instrumental to me starting a podcast. He's actually been the first and only podcast to actually have me on his show. He gave me a platform before he had me on the show by calling in to his show. So I want to start out with Mr. Aaron from Game Enthuse. What's going on, brother? How are you, sir? Gotta give you a round of applause. Okay. You are inspirational wow. to me, man. Flattery will get you everywhere. Thank you for inviting me. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Absolutely, man. I really appreciate you. Very, very excited to get your your uh, your points and your thoughts on Microsoft's uh, Inside Xbox. So thank you so much for being here, brother. Um, up next, uh, we have, uh, let me see, matter of fact, I believe this gentleman actually discovered the Analog Circle podcast because of Game Enthuse. We have Mr. Goose, who has actually walked us through the hardships of being a indie developer. He is here as well. What's going on, sir? How are you? Woo! Yes, indeed. We got a full house here today. This is a very impressive roster, less myself. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's great to have you here, Goose. It's always great to hear from you. And now the audience, the listeners, get to hear you as well. So thank you for being here, brother. I really Absolutely. appreciate it. An honor. Absolutely, man. Now, up next, man, you guys might know him as the MVP. That's what I call him when it comes to the feedback section. This brother has single-handedly kept that section alive when it was on doggone life support. He had, he had always <laughs> sent emails in constantly because I was about to cut that part of the podcast off. So I want to introduce once again the feedback MVP, Mr. Cody Clark. What's going on, sir? I was totally just going to be quiet and just like not make any sound at all. <laughs> but <laughs> thanks for a great podcast. Yes, yes cricket, cricket noises. I, I know. Only communicate check my phone. through emails. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But up next, and in no way, fashion, least, we have a gentleman on the show that I've constantly been mentioning his name. He sent me various stories. Uh, via whether it's email or even just hitting my phone directly. Matter of fact, it was because of him I had found out about Jeff Keeley's, uh, what's it, Summer Games Fest. So I want to welcome, he's also helped the brother out with a couple other things as well that we won't mention here. But I want to introduce you guys to Mr. Mike J. How are you doing, sir? I am alive and well. Hey, everyone... Hopefully you got everyone staying safe, and uh, let's talk about some games, huh? Most definitely. All right, so today, guys, we got Inside Xbox. And I will say overall, overall, before we get into any of the games or anything like that, I would say it was a pretty solid show, in my opinion. I kept expectations low, and I think for the most part they delivered but let's go ahead and go through the games, I guess, uh, game by game in order. So first up, I believe they showed off Dirt 5, which me personally, not really a racer kind of guy. But I'll go ahead and switch it over to Aaron and ask you, brother. Whoops. Let's start. Let's start. Uh, huh? we, actually, we missed uh, the very first game was the Bright Infinite Memory, that first oh, person shooter goodness, game. Oh, my goodness, man. Well, well, you know what, brother? I appreciate you. I just you, realized Goose. that now. Uh, you are on point, brother. If you guys could tell me about that, because I, I missed about three minutes of the show, maybe even five. Um, so I came I, in on uh, Dirt 2. I mean, Dirt 5. I mean, I, so. I don't know. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Oh, no. You're good. You're good, man. Oh, I, I got an email about Bright Memory. Not Infinite. Just Bright Memory. I don't know, a little while ago. Um, and I, you know, I checked out the trailer. And it's on Steam now. It's not Bright Memory Infinite, but you can play Bright Memory. It's action, like a really crazy stylistic action first-person shooter. So it looks pretty cool. Oh, uh, uh, this promising. might be one of those things where they release it on a different platform and they add, like, you know, Unleashed or Complete Edition. So this is Bright Memory, quote, Infinite. 
Like that might be the deal I with think, this title. I think it, I, you're you're right. I I think it was it, it wasn't early access. I don't think it's a full gang. It's like ten. It's, it's less than fifteen dollars. I think. So I think it's more like a sort of a tech demo y kind of thing. But it, it is a game. But I don't. <laughs> in terms of length, I don't. I, I, I think, don't it's think it's every game. I saw every aspect of every first person shooter ever made just crammed into one game because yeah. I was like. There was the yeah, Titanfall wall running. There were all the vaulting. I was the, the ground slide looked like Borderlands Three ground slide, and then it had that um, what was the name of the one where you're grabbing with the whip and slamming people yeah, into Bullet the ground? Storm. Oh, Bullet yeah. Storm, yeah. one of the greatest games of was, all time. Well, like Bullet Storm and Lost Planet, because you could use it as a like a grappling hook too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it, by it the looked commando. cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it, it 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 looked like I mean, would they say only one? It was one person that made it. Yes, yeah, one guy in China. Oh, that's yeah. impressive. Very yeah, impressive. He's, make, he's making good use of that coronavirus lockdown time, I guess. <laughs> but man, it, and how? it looked good for yeah, it looked good for what it was, I guess, especially considering one guy made it. Man, yeah. how about that, man? Good grief. Well, I guess um th- thanks again, Goose, for getting me on track. I missed that one, brother. But um I guess so overall, I guess you guys are pretty decent on it i haven't seen it so i don't know what it looks like what the gameplay may be like but it seems like it seems like it could have some promise to it i guess i mean if you liked bullet storm imagine that kind of stuff but even more over the top oh my god are you serious Woo! yeah but probably not yeah, he was leaping into the air and like probably, air comboing yeah. the whipped enemies but, you know you and he's need- like it's all i'm fighting like a guy with a sword and a shield and that kind of made me think of uh was it Eternal Darkness or um, oh, there's another man. game on the 360 where you're traveling through time with a machine gun and hosing down uh, <laughs> ancient civilizations? <laughs> but I don't like know if that's do. a case. Yeah, if that's a case, like in this or something else is going on. But uh, I don't know. It looked looked interesting. Definitely might be worth checking out when it comes out. Man, that's yeah. fantastic to hear, man. Um, well, shucks, I guess. Uh. Now, now, if 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 I have it correctly, uh, Goose and, and Mike J, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But then, did they show off? Was that when Dirt Five came up next? Yes. Yep. Okay. All right. Dirt Five. Now, one interesting thing that I was able to uh, hear, and I was glad that I heard this tidbit of information, was with Dirt Five, they're actually giving you the option to either have it at 60 frames or 120 frames per second which i don't think which i think could be a first on console i think they were barely reaching 60 so to have the um the option to make it 120 i mean how do you guys feel about that like i was saying before i'm not really a big racer fan it's not really my genre that i really rock with too much if it's not burnout then i'm not really messing with it too much but (laughs) For you guys here on the panel, how did you guys feel about uh, Dirt 5? Any of you guys fans of it, or is it not a game that really boosts your meter up too much? It's not It's not Project Gotham Racing, and it's not Forza, <laughs> so I don't care. <laughs> what about Auto Mario Mario Kart? Kart? It's not a burnout. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. man. <laughs> no, it, it looked really nice. I'm, like, I'm personally not a huge fan of the Dirt games. I played them. They're fun. It's just not my uh, style, but a few of my friends really enjoy them so hey i'm happy for them the game looked nice i'm they sure they'll be able nice. to add a whole bunch of features to justify it because they've been pretty good with some of the other games and uh, again having the options for 120 hertz i'm sure there's going to be people that are uh, going to be loving that so hey why not the more variety the better absolutely yep. absolutely Agreed. um well the next game that uh they showed now this one Looked very interesting. Once again, here we go with these doggone trailers with no gameplay, which I am mm-hmm. so against yeah. right now. But I know exactly. I felt the same way, <laughs> Cody. I felt like dozing off in my in my chair, brother. But well, for me, I was just like, oh, it's HR Geiger. The you I thought like, of that yeah. too, like Dark Seed, right? It reminded me of the game no, Dark it Seed. Reminded? I thought it was. Prom- I thought I thought it was going to be a licensed Prometheus game. Only yeah. whatever. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, thousand I was, percent aliens. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, they couldn't before the the uh, the aliens license, but they were more than willing to steal Giger's artwork. So I was like. Cool, 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 cool. Go ahead. I mean, it looked oh, it's visually amazing. You know, visually amazing. Like, yeah, you know, right for half 
For half a second, I thought this was going to be like really bold new Gears Five DLC, like a story campaign add-on, and I was like, "Oh man, a new oh, Geiger shucks, enemy in Gears." <laughs> that would have been, whoo! But then I was like, "Oh, it's its own game. What is this? A yeah, dating yeah, sim? Yeah. I don't even know." Right, yeah. like aliens dating sim. <laughs> that there was the there was some pregnant play. person. I was like, "Maybe it's a dating sim. You don't know. It's how to how to fill boyfriend fa- too." One of the big <laughs> stone faces in the back was literally one of the Promethean faces. And I was, and the stone st- statues were literally the space cowboys. And I was like, "What? Like, how do you? How is Fox not like all the money, please?" Man. Yeah, so Scorn was the name, and I yeah, was like, Scorn. "Okay, so it's own, its own thing." But no gameplay, so it's like uh, the only reaction is just like shoulder shrug. Like I don't know. Yeah, visual novel. Yeah, <laughs> missed yeah, pretty much yeah. at this yeah. point. I mean, what'd you feel about it, Aaron? Did you have any thoughts on it, man, or, or pretty much the same as the panel? Pretty much the same as the panel. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Great to see more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, after that, they had showed off, um, I believe it was what, Madden? Was Madden up next? Madden nope, 20? Chorus. No. Chorus, chorus or Cor- Corvus or Chorus? I don't even yeah. know. Like, I thought it was Cor- Corvus or something. So Corvus. 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 versus yeah, Corvus. Yeah, I see, I see uh, Kotaku listing it as Cor- Corvus. Chorvis with the ch ch o r v s. So I don't know. Polygon says one thing. Uh, yeah, nobody knows. It's the new Alexa. So Chorvis, who's the guy who played Lex Luthor in the Justice League? Chorvis. <laughs> <laughs> it just rolls Jesse off the tongue. Chorvis. Chorvis. <laughs> Thanks, Chorvis. <laughs> Chevron. Oh, man. What's the name? It, it looked cool though. I was like, okay. It's a, I thought it, we were looking at that. Um, What's the name of that existing? Not the one with the uh, Days Gone, you know, the Wing Commander guy, but the, the no, the space flight sim. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Star Citizen. No, not the not that one specifically, the Star Citizen, but the one that's the uh, Rogue Light version or whatever. But anyways, I don't know. I was I was like, hopefully there's some third person parts of it where you get out of the ship, you know. Yeah. But it, mm-hmm. it looked it looked interesting. The space flight part looked solid. I was like, the gameplay looked all right, you know. Yeah. But uh, I couldn't tell what the me- full mechanics of the game yeah. were. It was like a lot of stories, so I was like, okay, that's cool. But we'll see. You're looking for more of a Star Fox Assault kind of thing. Going right, on. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, FX Racers, thank you very much, is my... No. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't look bad, though. And plus, we don't really get a lot of those uh, types of games either. That genre, seen, I mean, it's not on life support, but it really you don't really get as many. Like, back in the day, you had Gradius, you had Life Force, you had... Um, it, it was just a, a couple of games on the Turbo Graphics that came out. Was it R Type, I believe? Yep. You know, so we really don't get those kinds of games now. So I mean, who knows? It, it does look pretty cool. Looks like it could be something there, but I guess we'll have to see. We haven't had a really, really, really solid space flight sim anything since the Wing Commander series, and then you know, yeah, uh, Descent man. Free Space, Descent Free Face Two. Like you know, the whole the whole space sim. You know, yeah, we had Elite Dangerous, but oh, it's so it's like literally so overly complicated. It's more simming, yeah, yeah. I don't want them. Yeah, I don't want it's the like sim, battalion man. in space. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So after that game, I don't know. Are you guys, um, are you guys good with this one right here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right Need so more ne- info. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so next, man, they showed off Madden Twenty One, I believe, and it ish. was what Patrick. Yeah, ish. Yeah, Patrick they Mahomes like, was. Yeah, on I've there. never heard him talk before. No. Yeah. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I just I didn't think he would sound like that. <laughs> as oh, soon as man. the Madden thing started, my first reaction was, dude, put on some pants. Like he's in his tidy whiteies there on the couch, man was spreading he? it. Yeah. Oh god in the comment section, that was everybody. Oh, everybody was man. dude put pants. Like I said it out loud, I was like, Oh dude, put some pants on. Then I looked to the right and it's every single person going like, Ugh, oh my god, put I, on some pants. I guess I, I guess like, move the voice camera was so eight inches up. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, hey man, working from home has got everyone off their A game. I'm telling you, you ain't lying, Mike. <laughs> but I mean, one, the, oh, go ahead. If go you look ahead. at oh, the, uh, the the executives from Xbox, the quality of their cameras was way. Off. Oh, oh my gosh, god, and the, yeah, man. yeah. Oh my goodness! But one cool thing though that they did say about uh, Madden 21 was, I believe, um, it's gonna have smart delivery, or at least smart it said delivery. if it works a on a lot the of yeah, X. a lot of these games were <laughs> announced with it. X. Yeah, yeah, they had a ton of them. Um, so Madden is Madden. I mean, 2K is king forever for me, NFL 2K. Yep. Uh, you know, but 
A lot of people like Madden, so I, I ain't mad at y'all, but, you know. I'm really surprised EA yeah, still only... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but guess what though, Aaron? They are they did get an NFL license though. Two K did That's get true. it. So I'm hoping but not for simulation. Not yeah, for simulation. I know. I know. It's gonna be like for like blitz style games, you know, pick up and play. But I'm just hoping that eventually That's all I want. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. you know, shoot, man. But 2K was just so much better. But, um, yeah, that's that's all I had to say. Anybody else have anything to say about I'm the just Madden surprised 21? that's their only thing they even wanted to, they even wanted to bring to the tables. EA, you know, EA, well, that's, you know. That's a big game. That's an easy, known quantity that's no surprise to anyone. They're having their own event. So I think yeah. it kind of made sense to have Madden up there because yeah. it looked nice. It looked really nice, especially con- compared to the – the little history lesson they did. That was the uh, best running. part. Yeah, that was yeah, I like that. I, like that. I played the yeah. original, maybe the second version, on the PC back in the, way back in the day. And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I like seeing that because it brought me back. Right. Yeah, they did made, not made They did not show older, Madden like, 2000 on the N64, I noticed, which I was kind of like, oh, come on. Because that was the no, right? I, well, no, opportunity. Sad, <laughs> sad, especially when Mahomes was like, this game series has been going around longer than I've been alive. And thanks for making me feel old, kid. <laughs> yeah, right, <buddy>. yeah. <laughs> Uh, no doubt, man. So uh, up next, they showed off another interesting game, and we were talking about this before we start recording. But uh, the game is called um, Vampire uh, Blood. Is it Blood Nest Two? Blood Bloodlines Two. Va- Blood Vampire Lines Masquerade. Two. Okay. Blood- yeah. Vampire Castlevania Bloodlines Two. That, that's yeah. the name of it. Bloodline yeah. Vampire Dance Simulator. Yeah. Shut up and oh, dance. With the puppets. <laughs> yeah. Vampire Masquerade. <laughs> Nightclub manager 2020. <laughs> Shut up and dance. It, it's vampire, but root beer tapper. Yeah. Oh, man. Root beer you tapper. Just, oh, man. <laughs> you can just fling people down the aisles. <laughs> Picking up the tips. Yeah. With oh, just dance man. segments that will use your connect still. Right. Oh, Rock on. <laughs> or your <laughs> Oculus Rift. Yeah. I don't know. The yeah. game looked interesting. It, looked, yeah, it but... looked pretty good to me. I mean, I know it's a first person, uh, you know, game, but overall, I thought it looked pretty good. It looked like it had some promise. I've never been into any of the vampire games or whatever, but it looks like it could be a cool game to jump off or jump into the series with. It's a very specific fan base of gothic, gothic uh, emo white boys and white girls that love that game. Really, that are gonna. That are going to freak out. Their ship is coming. Oh, yeah. Finally. <laughs> finally. They can stop playing with blood. glow sticks and the Hurl, hurl the people corner. down the bar and yeah. manage everything. How much right. blood should I stock up for this month? Yeah, right. All the yeah. true blood fans can come out and make their own uh, Fangoria. Yep. Yeah, so, I mean, overall, it looked pretty good. Nothing, I mean, nothing new, exciting and new. You know, kind of the same run of the mill. But overall, still not bad. But um, after that, they said this game also is going to have smart delivery. And that definitely seemed like a theme, like you were talking about a little while ago, Mike J, that so many of the games, it just said, you know, smart delivery. But um, this next game is called, uh, what, Call of the Sea? I guess, which they didn't really show too much off yeah. on this. It looks it like looks it's a like, double A. I was going to say, it looks like uh, like Walking Simulator Beachfront Edition. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Like, I was getting mist vibes for some weird reason from it. I don't know why, but... Really? Like, looking at the end of the trailer, what's that movie with um the, the, the fish man, the Guillermo del Toro movie? Shape uh, of Water. Oh, Finding Nemo? That, that's... <laughs> Finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> I guess some Bioshock... Uh, yeah stuff from there too i don't know yeah i don't know i'm thinking maybe the missed stuff was just seeing them walk around the island and see the monuments and whatnot just yeah again whether Watch there's it. actual puzzle we don't know Watch it. Yeah. Yeah. puzzles that you only will get yeah. if you were on the development team you know i've missed yeah i need right? to see gameplay this was more about like just the setting and i was like okay yeah it's a setting but what's yeah. the gameplay so I mean, I visually it looks nice but it doesn't i mean yeah right. insert more <laughs> Definitely, man. Let me get you guys' opinion on this because I've never had you guys all on the on on the show at once. How do you guys feel about these trailers that have no gameplay? Do you guys think you know or feel the same way I feel that we're past that point now where the games are up to snuff enough where they should be able to show us something you know from the game, a slice of the game itself? 
they said this presentation was supposed to be the games that were coming up really soon. So yeah, all of them footage. could have given us the gameplay moment, which that's what I thought the part two was going to be when I said, let's wait till they finish when they, yeah. when they were just talking about uh, whatever it was, Dirt 5, before talking about one other game. I thought they were going to go into detail with each of them and show the gameplay about it. And it was like, no, no? all right. Well, some of them at least you knew what they were. But yeah, right. that, go ahead, Aaron. Sorry. Oh, no, I was just going to say, you know, I don't have any kind of uh, qualifications as, as in terms of marketing. But, you know, they say you, you don't sell the steak, you sell the sizzle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that will, like, never go away. People, yeah. It's always, you know, cinematics and stuff always get people, hey, what's this? But you're right. It, it is, we need to see something. But they, if they show us too much, then, you know, people get critical and yeah. they try to apply it safe. Yeah, I don't mind like a couple of the cinematics just to kind of give a background of what it is. You know, if they can tell a story without too much exposition and just show it through that. But show me some gameplay. What kind of game? Or what is the style? Exactly. You know, is it, you know a first-person shooter, an event, like a third-person adventure game. You know, a uh, word puzzle. Who knows? Like, but just give me some justification of what I'm actually playing, not just the uh, cutscenes I'll be watching. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, man, for sure. What what about you, Cody? You feel the same way, brother? I just it's it's business as usual. It's just you can't you know, it's it's exactly like Aaron says. At this point they're just they're building up hype and this is the way you do it. I mean they threw a bunch of stuff at it at us. Some of it kind of made sense, kind of some of it you kind of have to scratch your head and be like, Okay, they're gonna find some way to PR that stuff. So I'll, you know, the ones that the ones that kind of caught my eye caught my eye, and that was like maybe four of them, and the rest of them, I'm like, cool, cool, you know, wait, wait and see. Gotcha. You know? Well, well, speaking of the the cinematics, you know, and all of that that stuff, one game that really did catch my eye, and it's actually up next, um, was a game Woo. called uh, what was it, The Accent, where the Ascent, uh, the, yep. what's it called, Ascent. Yeah, yep. Yep. man, y'all been saving me all show. I appreciate it. Thank <laughs> y'all, man. But this game, it, it actually when it when it came on, I was like, oh, this looks interesting. Kind of gives me Total Recall kind of vibes oh, or whatever. Uh, and then you know, it actually he said, I, I don't know about that. Bosoms. Yeah, it literally <laughs> looked like Smash TV. I was just thinking that. <laughs> like, I, oh, yeah, I think it's an action TV. RPG akin to Diablo, just sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, it, it looks, looks cool. good. It looks really, really interesting, man. I was actually pretty impressed by what I saw. I mean, I mean, Aaron, how did you feel about it, brother? I just went through the trailer just again. It was on silent, obviously, but no, it looked good. But it it looked like a twin stick shooter, which mm-hmm. we, we know what that is. But yeah. then it looked like there was. I'm sure there's a lot of story, and it's just you know, I, I guess thinking about that genre in the next gen, the amount of detail just oh, seemed like yeah. wow, it looked very dense. So, definitely, yeah, I'm I'm hoping there's a world to explore in this game because I'll be really happy with the ascent if there is a world. Hopefully, not completely procedurally generated. Maybe like Rifts Diablo style being procedurally generated, then designed content for the story. I'll be really happy with this game. And this was the point where I was lamenting. I wish I'd been paying attention to Game Pass. Uh, if this was in Game Pass, I'd just be like I, fist I don't pumping think right it now. Was. Like, yes, I don't. I it would have been it dope. Be. It, it's possible. I, there were a lot of Game Pass games. I don't remember yeah. if this one was one. And right. it was emphasizing co-op. It mentioned specifically, like, we're going to need yeah. help for this. And it showed all the little multicolored rings of the multiple players. And I was like, good, good. Yeah, this yeah, one could be one to look to for. Yep. Absolutely. What about you, Cody? How'd you feel, man? Uh, it looked like a twin-stick sh- shooter, and I don't like twin-stick shooters. Until I get more oh. information about it, I don't... Cody wants a tri-stick shooter. <laughs> right. <laughs> Use my tongue. Uh, uh, no, it just... I, I was like, analogs. oh, this looks, it looks very generic. It was cyber, it looks like wannabe cyberpunk. And then it went into that, that top, that, that faux isometric thing. And I was like, mm-hmm. oh, don't give me a twin stick shooter. I hate twin stick shooters. Then again, if, you know, if it's not a twin stick shooter and it's more Diablo, more action RPG thing, awesome because that's totally in my bag. And, uh, cyberpunk is like the new hotness right now. So. Yeah. If that's the case, awesome. But I won't know. Again, I'm, I'm withholding until I see more. I'm, I'd rather be disinterested uh, and then become favorable on it later. I mean, I didn't like, I hated Diablo 3 for the first two years it was out. And then, like, I started playing with mm-hmm. Goose. And then I'm like, okay, this game is the jam. And, like, we played it straight for, like, an entire year. Uh, so I'd rather I'd rather have that, that, that turn than be completely like, this looks amazing. And then. Yeah. If it I has some you. sort of RPG mechanics, progression, character building, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, 
could be something. But again, who knows? This might not even be like a full price game. We don't know a lot of these games. That like right. something of that nature. We'll say even if it is just a twin stick shooter or just go have fun for twenty dollars. Right, and oh, if that's, yeah. the, and, if that's you know, the next big thing knows? for Xbox, if the Xbox is like, look, even our cheapo games look like like awesome, awesome, high quality double A or, or low level triple A titles. Mm-hmm. If that's going to be their thing, that's a really good that's a really good yeah. angle to have and say, hey, even yes, our is. mediocre, you know, shovelware looks better than anything on Switch. Yeah, that would right. be a nice. That would be a nice so, little, you know, feather in again, the cap. More info, but I have to give them credit for giving probably the most gameplay out of most of the presentations today. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they did. They Definitely. Really did. Man, speaking of co-op and, you know, all of that stuff, are any of you guys looking forward to Minecraft Dungeons? Just, just so I yeah, yeah, actually, because my kids really <laughs> like Minecraft, and even though I have a bunch of other games that are sort of like that, like with Riverbond, that sort of, that kind of thing, mm-hmm. but because it's Minecraft and they like it, I am looking forward to that game. I think we're going to have fun with it. That's dope, And it's on Game Pass. And it's on on Game Pass. Exactly. That's what's up, man. I thought I would just ask, because I think that game comes out later this month, right? Yeah, like the 25th Mm -hmm. or 26th. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It looks pretty good, man. I've never played Minecraft, but it it looks interesting. Almost like, kind of like you were saying, Cody, a bit of a Diablo-esque kind of experience. Do you think that's what they're aiming for? I mean, from what you can see, or do you think they'll have it a little, little more kid friendly? They're going to have it more kid friendly, but yeah. you know, they're going to have you know the mechanic make it a little bit harder for you know because I'm sure there'll be a way to scale. But it's Minecraft; they yeah. have to make they have to make it a you know as approachable to everybody as possible. Exactly. Absolutely, definitely. <laughs> um, so after uh, the ascent. Uh, which is one game I'm really looking forward to. Um, the next game up was uh, called, oh yeah, The Medium. Now, now, did I get that one right, y'all? The Medium was that next? Yep. Yeah, All that's right. Next. The Medium. Now this looks uh, interesting. It looks kind of like, um, I don't know. I kind of got like a David Cage kind of vibe off of this. You know, like the heavy rains <laughs> and the, you know. Yeah, Detroit. I wasn't sure if it was that or Silent Hill or that whole, you know. Yeah, matter horror. of fact. I think one of the composers is from yeah. Silent Hill was from working Silent on the Hill, yeah. music, right? Yeah. Yes, weird, so like, weird flex, weird flex. We have the music director from <laughs> Silent Hill. Like, okay. I mean, it's the thing, but it's also like, wait a minute, why am I excited? <laughs> <laughs> we also have the caterer from the Resident Evil series. <laughs> nice, yes. Remember those scones? No, I don't remember. <laughs> So, yeah, man, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I mean matter of fact, um, I guess uh, Cody, you know, I, I, how'd you feel about this game? Man? I don't I don't do I don't do horror games. So the last yeah, horror do. game I did that I really enjoyed was the original Silent Hill. And it scared the hoo-ha out of yeah, me. Yeah, I, I swore off that myself. Yeah, I scared swore me off. And I was like, never, never again. I knew Parasite Eve, but that was since I was a role playing. It didn't really count as horror role playing. But after that, I was like, yeah, I haven't played one since then. About that, man. Yeah. What about you, Aaron? I know you were just talking about it, man. But but is this I, a game you might pick up or no? N- not I'm, really? I'm, yeah, I'm with Cody on this one. Like I like a like more of a thriller. Like I play like a Resident Evil stuff like that. But this kind of stuff, it's not really my my thing. Yeah, it's not your thing. I got you, man. Um, what what about you, Goose? Uh, it's got the Game Pass on it, so that's uh, oh, it's Game Pass. <laughs> that's gonna be a given. Oh my yes. that one's that one's Game Pass. Yeah. Oh shucks! Well, man, my man, well, I tip my hat. I'll off give it a try, but mm. man, and I think it's it's by the same people who did that one painting horror game with Layers of Fear. I think it was called. I never which was also on Game Pass. Blooper Studios. Yeah, I think that's the developer. Yep. Oh man, what about you, Mike? Are you gonna um give this a shot? You know, in Game Pass I'll, or. I'm yeah, it's on Game Pass. I mean, what am I losing other than a hundred gig download and uh, an hour of my life trying it? But it looked cool. They um they showed a little more in the little after show section. I mean, it uh, looked visually stunning. Section. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I can yeah. see why you would think it would be like a David Cage style because like just the, the 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 character faces and stuff like that. Like they, you know, there was a lot that mad uh, Martin Scorsese close up style going on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, Game Pass. So why not? I'll Absolutely, man. So after that, uh, Namco Bandai, they showed off. Uh, this game kind of has like an anime style. At first, I thought it was a um, Bayonetta a te- or Devil yeah. May Cry, yeah, something like something. that, man. But um, it's called a uh, Scarlet Nexus, which shugs to me 
look pretty good, man. I mean, it's a game that I might give a shot. I mean, wondering if it has co-op. Like, I literally thought it was going to be like an like a like a, a sci-fi anime um, da- dynasty. I literally thought it was going to be Dynasty Warriors. I was really hoping it was yeah, going to be Dynasty that. Warriors. Gotcha. But it looks pretty cool, and I, I'm a I'm a sucker for anime. And, and it, it, decent anime games on the Xbox has always been a weakness. <sighs> Did you so, like Afro Samurai? Did you try um, that out? Back on the 360 Afro Samurai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game wasn't um, too bad, man. Graphically, it was it was a beautiful looking game. Um, gameplay it was it was, it was okay. Well, I mean, you could play it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it launched. Absolutely, man. What about you, Goose? How you feeling about this one, brother? The Scarlet Nexus game. Yeah, the JRPG yeah. thing. Uh. You know, um, I was sitting down on Vita, and I was playing a game called uh, Battle Pentagram, I think it is. It, it came out in Japan, but not in the U.S., and You're it had the same... No games for Vita. <laughs> <laughs> fake games, fake games. Uh, and its its style of monsters is the same kind of, I don't want to say crap, but like one of the monsters you fight in a level is just the lower body of ice skaters skating around, and you're hack and slashing through them you're on one level and there's ghosts playing violins but riding around on wheelchairs it it was really weird type of enemies yeah it 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 uh, it didn't jive with me and then i saw this and there were the legs with the flowers popping out the top and i was like that was an instant am I feel intimidated by that you know at least there were the crocodile with all the weirdo christmas lights on it but, like, I thought for half a second it was going to be a Persona game because of the weird enemies. I was like, oh, it's just some random thing where it's an action game and abstract enemies to fight. And I was like, it, it, art, art style-wise, it was not jiving with me because it's like I did that on Vita and I didn't particularly care. Uh, so, you know, it, it's nice to see a JRPG type of, or I don't know, it might be a J, just a Japanese action game. But, you know, it's nice to see some Japanese studio stuff uh, get some representation, but not for me. Gotcha. Not for me. Yeah, gotcha. Um, then he's going to find out it's got co- co-op, and he's going to say, screw it, we're going to play it like four years. Keep them coming, Phil. Keep them coming, Phil, but just this one's not for me. <laughs> I gotcha, man. What about you, um, Mike J? So overall, uh, like the visuals on it were really cool even before I knew what the heck was going on with the game, um, which still doesn't really make a lot of sense. But it did look like a hack and slash. Uh those for me hit, hit or miss if I enjoy the game like I don't play a lot of them there's not many that I actually liked but it looked like it could be something fun and uh, I don't know depending on the price it might be uh, worth checking out maybe not at full price on launch but uh, if you could find it at a discount or if it's you know I learn more about it then yeah maybe I'll maybe I'll stick with it and check it out sounds good uh, man for oh. the time being it's on the back burner it looked cool but did anyone else notice the giant so I guess we've now moved from enemy crab to giant enemy shrimp in the trailer. <laughs> it's a or... Yeah. What was that on? Uh, was it was it Contra that had the shrimp in it like way back years ago? I believe it was Contra. Yes. Or whatever. Maybe that, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was just crazy times. Crazy man. But um, did, like I, did I get you, Aaron, on this one? Oh no, I, I'll, I'll be brief. Not really my cup of tea. <laughs> Can't get more <laughs> brief than that, brother. I got also, you. Aaron doesn't like tea. Uh, uh, oh that's not true i had tea this morning (laughs) (laughs) so up next though all right um the next game that they showed now they also made it a point to say this one is gonna have smart delivery as well and i kind of like this one um it was called uh second extinction which it looks like they're gonna be fighting some dinosaurs off man Uh, (laughs) i I mean for me i guess left for dinosaur uh, yeah, <laughs> that is exactly what I wrote in my notes. Left for dinosaurs. <laughs> Horizon Zero Dinosaur. Oh yeah. man! Yeah. Well, for me, I, I thought it was kind of cool because you know people have been wanting a Dino Crisis, and I know it's a completely different Dino game. Crisis. Always was trash. Why do people even want that game? <laughs> they want it because they can't have it, or they don't have it yet. Dino Crisis didn't set the world on fire when no, it came it out at all. Originally, it did. It set my PlayStation on fire. Oh, it shucks. <laughs> But um, I don't know, man. Well, Aaron, how did you feel about this, brother? Uh, 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 it a second really extinction. Cool. It, I, it thought so cool. I thought and so too. I thought so too. The fact that it's smart delivery. I don't think it said uh, Game Pass, but that, you know everything can't say Game Pass. It looked promising. 
That's how Definitely. I felt, brother. I thought he did too, man. What What about you, Mike J? Is this something that you may pick up, or are you gonna say, "Ah, oh, might well, have to wait on it"? Again, is it you know levels? Is it like a Left for Dead style? Is it Borderlands style? We don't really know, but it did look you know multiplayer. Uh, you're out shooting dinosaurs, so I guess that can be always fun. Uh, I don't think Peter's going to come after me for saying that. Um, oh, you'd be surprised. That's yeah, this is true. Yeah, but I don't know. Wait again. Wait till we see more about it. But it did look cool. It looked yeah. good. Like definitely, so. man. What about you, Cody? That's all I got. I don't want to shoot more dinosaurs. I'm so sick of dinosaurs. I just I don't care. About zombies. Go back to zombies. Yeah. Man. <sighs> No, I want to shoot like cyborgs and robot people. I want, I want, well, I'm ready coming. for cyberpunk. That's I coming, want cyberpunk. That's I don't coming, care brother. about, yeah, that's my, that and stormtroopers. Anything, you know, or, or Nazis. I will always shoot Nazis, but that's more of a <laughs> genetic disposition. Hey, man, now, if they're Nazi dinosaurs, maybe, maybe I'll give you a pass. <laughs> so if you find in, out uh, these. Wasn't that in Kung Fury? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, what about you, Goose? How did you feel about it, man? I got excited from the moment I saw just like dinosaurs exploding with shotguns. Yeah, so I was like, man. yeah, number one gameplay, number two dinosaurs. And then I was like, just doing the whole, like uh, with Mike J, just wondering, Left for Dead? Or, uh, so like in my notes, I wrote dinosaurs, exclamation point, Left for Dinosaurs, second extinction, team question mark. So it's, I'll try it. Uh, I don't think if, like, I saw it for a $60 title, I don't think I'd jump in right away. But, like, in, in Game Pass, absolutely I would be all over that. But I need to find out more information before I can determine if, like, it really is. Like, if they were like, it's dying light, but with dinosaurs. And I'd be like, oh, an open world city where you're just trying to fight dinosaurs and survive. Yeah, I'll pay 60 bucks for that. But And yelling parkour. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah since people aren't getting that dino crisis game i was like this might fill a little bit of that niche and be better than the ba- bad nostalgia for dino crisis yeah why haven't we gotten a dino riders game now i'm sure that license has got to be dirt cheap <laughs> or oh, dino man. saucers yeah yeah oh cool. ah, yes yeah put a Another. bunch of turrets yeah. on top of the t te- uh triceratops you know that'll be awesome <laughs> So. All right, man. Well, uh, we're getting ready to um, start closing in to, towards the end of the show. Did I did I get everybody? Did I get you, Aaron? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, you did. Okay. You All did. right. Um. So the the next one was actually it was a surprise, but it wasn't a surprise. Um. It's the uh, Yakuza game that's called Like a Dragon, which I mean I I have been brand new to that genre. I know the Yakuza series has been around since like PS2. Or was it PS3, maybe? Somewhere. It's like 10 years plus old. And I never really got into it too much. But I've been playing Judgment. And that game is unbelievable. And it's by the same, you know, the same team. And Fist of the North Star is by the same team of uh, Yakuza. So it really got me interested in this. I mean, it looks like a decent game. Doesn't look bad. It's good to see that Microsoft is Working with Sega, I mean, we know it's no, it's no uh, mystery. He's been going over there countless times, talking with them as well as other publishers in Japan. So for me, I thought this was a really good get. Um, I think this game is already available on PlayStation 4. I think. I could be wrong. But how did you guys feel about it? Uh, a dragon, uh, like a dragon. It, it looks silly. I mean, it looks like uh, it doesn't look like, to, to, uh, you know, a uh, uh, Dead Rising Three, where it just doesn't take itself seriously, which is fine. Yeah, I just Time I don't I don't care about the Yakuza series. It doesn't that's not just uh, I just you know as much as I love uh, Asian culture, I just don't like the Yakuza, so I'm just not gotcha. interested in it. Yes, on the I've never taste. actually played a Yakuza game. It's just you know I, I know got them on Game Pass. Go to town. <laughs> yeah, it's, but also you all know how I roll. Like. <laughs> this game's a, they're not going to hold my interest. I'll, oh, this is fun, and like I'll get distracted by like you know a dust bunny or something, and then yeah, right, uh, yeah, Overcooked Three or Cooking Mama Twelve will come out, and they're like, well, that's what Aaron's doing for the next four hours. So, you know me, yeah. Mm-hmm. I watch you. I watch you on Xbox Live. I, I just watch what games swap over. I'm like, oh, Aaron's doing this now, or your your, your daughter's log on, and it's just dance for seventeen hours. So. <laughs> There you go, man. So I guess not too much, not too much uh, going on with with you guys for this one. Um, I don't know. I, well, well, Mike J. I don't want to skip anybody. What about you, brother? Uh, again, I, I mean, I thought of you when this came out because I know you've been recently enjoying the Yakuza games. But uh, 
I wasn't really sure. Like, I thought it was going to be one, and they didn't fully announce it until later, and then uh looked like they kind of were going over the top with it and not really taking itself seriously. So it could be something fun. But, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, it, it doesn't seem like the series vibe that most of the Yakuza games seem to have, so this might be a little more lighthearted, uh, easier entry point, I guess, for someone who's kind of curious about them, but maybe not looking for the whole serious, dark story. Right. So, I got you, Who knows? Brother. We'll see. We'll see when it comes out. Definitely. And it's going to um, also use smart delivery uh, once again. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. I mean, good for Microsoft for, you know, getting these uh, smart delivery deals in place. Uh, but the last game um, that they showed, and we were all waiting for this one, at least I was, was Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um they didn't they showed gameplay, but they kind of did it like the Avengers trailer where it was gameplay sprinkled in into the trailer. But it's a game that I'm actually looking forward to overall. It looks great from what I've seen. Um, definitely will be picking this one up. And we know that this was this is definitely going to have a uh, smart delivery uh, included with it. So thoughts, guys, I'll just anybody that wants it. It's up for grabs to start, man. Aaron's grabbing it day one. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I, I'm, I've, I've played a bunch of Assassin's Creed games. Never finished any of them. They're nothing that hold my interest. I mean, I, 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 I'm in the camp of like this is the same game being re released time and time again. I, that I know that's reductive. Well, I'm going to say no because it's it's no longer assassinating stuff. It's more it's more like they just stole they just stole Witcher Three, and it's basically just the combat grinder game with occasional assassinations <laughs> where you Action may or RPG may not Creed. Right, yeah, where you where you may, might be able to assassinate one or two things, unless the things your level or higher, and then your assassination does nothing, and you just do half damage to it, and then you have to fight it, and it's forty eight friends in single combat, one after the other, <laughs> like a ninja movie. And like I watched my 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 roommate just picked up and has been playing uh, Origins, and he loves it. He's he's a huge fanatic of assassin. He's played all of the Assassin's Creed, except he really hated Black Flag. He hated he hated that Aww. one, but the rest of them he he he, he loved like shanties. And he just, <laughs> um, but you know, I'm like looking at it, going like, yeah, they're they're Vikings. They don't assassinate people. They murder and pillage and other bad things. They don't assassinate people. How are you going to have a assass- crime? Like, like I, I yeah. also didn't understand wooden, like wooden huts. Uh, there's lots wooden huts, cliff sides, castles in England. A tree. You'll probably go. <laughs> you'll go like, to an just, Asgardian yeah. realm probably at some point, and there will definitely be gigantic structures and like trippy rainbow bridge stuff to get. Yeah, his... that's you're thinking. You're thinking too much like Marvel. They're not going to want to go that path. They're not. They're going to want to differentiate differentiate themselves. I mean. They're going to be going to ancient. They're going to be going to either well, ancient Britain, obviously, maybe parts of maybe parts of uh, of, of France. Uh, but I, I'm assuming there's going to be raid. It's going to be it's going to be Assassin's Creed town simulator. But you know, like taking your base from uh, from Fallout Four, making your little civilization, making your city, and then going out on raiding parties to get bear fur, bear butts, raccoon fur, raccoon butts, and then like bringing home. I don't know. I'm going to assume you're going. To, you're a Viking, which means you're going to be bringing back slaves, unless they're just going to completely whitewash that part of history. Which it's Ubisoft. They might just do that. Yeah, it's been no. So I'm, expecting, it I'm expecting DLC for North American Discovery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eric the Viking and stuff like that. Yeah. You're only going to pillage loot boxes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's because that's what you do in Origins. So yeah, um, Leaf Erickson DLC. Right. Mm-hmm. Man, oh man! But um, but, I mean, yeah, it's gonna look beautiful. But it, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward street. to it. I'll yeah, me play too. It. Me too. I'm My roommate's gonna to play it. it. I'm not gonna touch it. So I enjoyed Odyssey. I enjoyed Orge. I enjoyed for the most part all the Assassin's Creed games. There, I mean, I know Aaron says they're pretty much all the same. Um, but yeah, I know they're I enjoyed I'm forgetting it. about the fact that Odyssey is exactly what Cody said about. You yeah. see who you're supposed to kill, but because you're not high level enough. Because I did play oh, it before. Yeah, the for some reason. Media, yeah. That was the you game that they t- offered you oh, to play. You put a yeah. this guy in the spear head. all the way you- through my sternum, <laughs> and you didn't kill him. Didn't kill him. That's okay, right. that's you know, like that's frustrating. You know, because that happens often when I go to Greece. Someone just come up behind me and put a spear through my chest, pull it out, and walk off. And I'd be like, "That was very rude." And my wallet. Yeah, they got missing. your wallet. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'd be like, "Oh, Europe!" Every time. But I am curious. I'll, I will most likely play this and check it out unless something goes terribly wrong. 
Um, yeah, I will too. I know they're removing supposedly they're removing the leveling system Good. in this, so now it's more just abilities, not so much levels. So Makes I guess sense. going back to the old Assassin's yeah. Creed style, where that will be nice. Oh, I stabbed yeah. you in the kidney. Good, you're going to die. Not you're just going to get angry and again call your friends on me. Um, but it looks cool, and I'm a sucker for it. So yes, I'm I'm in. Definitely, man. Well, I mean, that was pretty much the end of the show um, for the most part. But before we get out of here, let me ask you guys, what was one thing that you had wished they had shown off that they didn't? Um, let's go with you first, Mike. Uh, wish that they showed off I didn't. Um, to be honest with you, nothing. I didn't have too many wishes. There weren't a lot of high-profile games in this, which is good, because we know a lot of the... I guess, games that we're expecting to be coming out. So, obviously, we're not going to see a Call of Duty uh, that you know is happening. The Madden one, I was kind of surprised. Like, okay, we know that's happening. Cool, they showed it. But it's a big-name game. Same thing with the Creed game. But everything else wasn't anything I was really expecting. Okay. So, I, I was pretty happy with it. This is, for the most part, all newer games. I mean, exception of, like I said, Madden and Assassin's Creed and Dirt 5. Gotcha. These so- were pretty much things I wasn't, you know ever even thinking about so gotcha so happy okay so overall you were happy with the show overall yeah yeah my expectations were low going in so uh you know they were low high high as in (laughs) yes i want to see some new stuff and i did but low that i wasn't expecting anything major and i got more than i expected so overall no no nothing i wish they showed because i know they still have a couple months to go through and this is a nice way to build the hype train for them Nice. What about you, Aaron? Was it anything that you didn't, that they didn't show off that you wanted to see and your overall thoughts of the show, brother? To be completely honest, I didn't even know about the July thing for first party. So I thought that's what this was going to be. Uh, (laughs) It's kind of like, this is a lot of third party games. (laughs) What's going on here? Am I wrong? And of course I was. <laughs> yeah, they put it kind of in the fine print about the what this event was about because we were trying to discuss last night what are we expecting out of this? And I was like, this is it supposed to be a third party showcase? Like these are probably mostly multi plats and hopefully a bunch of new reveals. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad. It's just nothing was like it looked like a lot of stuff we've already played. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, the stuff that we technically can play on the Xbox One X's and that, that we own now. Mm-hmm. Which isn't gotcha. bad. It's like they've they've made it such that it's really consumer friendly, but it's so friendly where it will have many people just waiting. Well, waiting, but now again for some of these newer games that look interesting, you've got an install base of that many more people versus whether they want to do a cross gen release on yeah. uh, other platforms. That's a good point. So, yes, yeah, so really, the, the I guess more of the pressure is just on Microsoft then, because yep. as a third party developer, I'm just selling a game. Right. Yep. Exactly. Was, was it? Oh, go ahead, Aaron. No, no I'm, I'm done. I'm, okay. Was it anything that you wanted to see though that you didn't see, or overall it was eh, it was okay for you? Oh, because I had no idea what it was going in. I was oh, fully right. misinformed. Yeah. I had no real expectation. <laughs> oh, you know, I thought I'd be honest. Aaron <laughs> wanted to see Halo, man. Now yeah. I wanted to see like another Perfect Dark. If I'm being honest. Oh, oh. Gotcha. So, hey, July, man. Maybe July. July, brother. That's right. Yep. And um, well, what about you, Goose? Um, how did you feel, brother? Was it any game that you wanted to see, and how did you feel about the show overall? Uh, I felt good about it. Uh, the uh, everyone's been complaining about you know Microsoft needing to reveal new IPs, new IPs, and out of a dozen or so games, this is more than half of it is all new IPs, and two of them uh, between the Ascent and the second extension Extinction game. Uh, I'm excited about both those to see what comes. Uh, down the pipe in the future world. And I do like the idea that even if we can't get, because of the scarcity of these next-gen consoles, they're going to launch with a lot of difficult to find. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a Series X for launch. And it's like, I can still play all of this stuff that I'm seeing on my X in the version that I'm playing on. I'll be much happier with zero load times on a Series oh, X yeah. <laughs> and frame rates rock solid, you know, on that. But, but, but you'll I'll, be able to play them now. Yes, with what I have, which is which is really cool to just keep going with uh, that version of it. And I'm glad with what all the all the decisions they've made for scalable technology, everything working the way it is. Only having to buy or play one copy. Any, if I picked up 
the Ascent right now for Xbox One, I don't have to rebuy it for the Xbox mm-hmm. Series X. There's zero of that in the future with it, which I'm like, I'm very happy with those decisions. Uh, but I, it, it, as far as an inside Xbox show, I'm like, isn't this technically the best inside Xbox? I would agree, and I like the fact that it was not long, too. I mean, that was my yeah. biggest complaint. They used to be forever. Two hours. Exactly. 30, 35 yeah, two minutes hours. of trailers and a little sprinkling of the gameplay, and then it was about 10 minutes of developer interview, and that yep. was it. it was and also, shout point. out to... Uh, Shout out to Aaron Greenberg and being bold enough to put the meme of the Series X refrigerator yeah. behind him. <laughs> yeah. That was that was awesome. I was laughing and going like, "Please help me!" I hope they're they're contacting Frigidaire and getting the Xbox Series X refrigerator ready because if I was in the market to buy a refrigerator, I absolutely <laughs> would pick up a Series X refrigerator. That would be. And every time you open it, it's just like of the. <laughs> <laughs> makes so, an achievement unlock noise every time I pick up the milk <laughs> that's funny man Be all over that people were requesting in the comments section they were mentioning oh, yeah. like are they going to make a skin for refrigerators like the applique that you can just put down over a specific brand to make it into a series X refrigerator I was like oh god that would be so awesome oh man what about you Cody go ahead and take us out brother what were your thoughts uh, uh, I mean I would not mind a uh, like you know just a just an ending sizzle reel of just like some additional like just super small indie games and stuff like that Be like hey yeah we have all this whatever we're not forgetting about the tiny guys the little guys here's you know oh. here's some small project like that would have been nice just like you know a little like three or four minute sizzle reel with just some you know different stuff going on and just to like you know end it off on like a small like look no yes, indie we're going montage to- yeah yeah, no, no montage. And then yeah. I wanted what I really, really, really wanted, but I understand because it's third party stuff. Is I wanted them to just say, "Hey, here's a, here's our, you know, like the first game, uh, Blight Memory was run. I'm pretty sure that was running on a high end PC and not an Xbox One X or an Xbox X. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. But if they just took you like, here's the system. Here's a digital copy of one of the games what we're showing, and here's here's us loading the game right now and going into, going into gameplay. Just give us like how long it takes. Just give us a, a taste of that. Just to be like this is what we're this is what we're this is what we're aiming for. Definitely. And I'm like okay, cool. Just give us it. You know, if they're going to show us a bunch of tech demos, then it's like okay, give us my let me see the loading screen go or something like that. Or show us the freaking the new the, the new UI, whatever the new X uh, X series uh, you know interface looks like, and be like, you're going to go through here, and here's going to be your stuff, and here's going to be your games, and here's how fast you can go through the blades, and let's load a game. Boom! Here's how fast the game loads, and then just like, and then fade out, and then be like, okay, and now let's talk. And man, they they should, should have sat down and practiced their production stuff. I get it; they were low quality, whatever. They should have sat down and they're, they're they had they have plenty of time to pr- plan for this. They should have sent them some decent microphones. Uh, you know, a decent, you know, come on. You, I know there's shortages for stuff like that, but there are ways to get around that. The, the fact that there are podcasters and YouTubers all over the place that have infinitely better, you know, uh, uh, production quality that literally do it for pennies on the dollar. And, you know, if you've got a, one of the most valuable companies in America, can't send their freaking four employees that are the faces, you know, the faces can't send them a proper 4, 4K uh <laughs> camera and then like a decent <laughs> snowball you know? user connect with the usb <laughs> adapter yeah you figure that. they have access to all of that for free being the executive yeah no doubt about it man yeah, no doubt yeah, plug up your sur- I, I bet he wasn't using his surface pro i'm just saying oh man <laughs> so, that's yeah. funny yeah well i felt the same way that was uh what i was hoping they had shown just to wrap this up um i was hoping they would have shown us the load times uh the differences between the two versions whether it was on the x and the series x and i was really shooting for the fences when i thought they were gonna show off a new batman game which man i, sh- I should have really known that wasn't gonna happen oh, but i that, was hoping that's for what it. people thought the medium was when they were looking at when the girl in the church and whatever, they thought that was, and it showed like a commissioner, and people were in the comments going like, "Is that Commissioner Gordon? Is this the new Batman game?" Oh, it was like, "Oh, shucks, man!" I, just oh, swear man. I heard somebody say, "Swear to me," but I, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was it, man. I'm gonna get ready to get you guys on up out of here. Um, I guess uh, for the outros, I will start with Mr. Aaron from Game Enthusiast, and y'all definitely check him. Tiny and Mike out. It's an excellent podcast. But go ahead, Aaron. Uh, any last words, brother? Oh, well, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I appreciate it. I'd like to do it again. And thank you for the shout out for uh, for Game of Thus. It's a good right. podcast with all of you gentlemen. 
Absolutely. Most definitely. Check it out. Download it. I guarantee you'll have a lot of laughs, man. Um, up next, uh, Mike J. Last words, brother. Thank you for being on the show, man. No, Keon, thanks for having me on. I'm glad we were able to uh, do this, uh, discuss our nerdiness and our appreciation for our favorite hobby. So this is, uh, this is fun. It's going to be an exciting time. I know uh, the world situation is a bit different than what everyone was expecting for uh, this, I guess, change of the guard in the console, but uh, make the best of it, and hopefully uh, things go well and everyone's happy and we get some good games out of it. Absolutely. Very well yeah. said, man. Yeah. Thank um, you, Keon, and thank you guys for joining. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, brother. Um, up next, I guess, the MVP, Mr. Cody Clark. What's going on, brother? Any last words, man? I just remember we didn't even mention the whole the the Xbox or whatever the new like the the HDR support that basically comes like built into the system. So a lot of people, you know, a lot of developers are going to have like a bunch of crazy tools to make amazing games. And Microsoft is like literally giving them the keys to the castle. And then, you know, the, I'm just I'm curious how Sony is going to answer that or or how it's going to get spun from uh, the other you know the fanboys. But uh, you know, that being said, wash your hands. Uh, if you want to go learn stuff about, you know, the pandemic, go go to the CDC. Go get your news and your information from a reputable source. Don't listen to YouTubers and Twitter bots telling you that you can, you know, use bleach and sunshine to cure yourself. And, you know, be safe. <laughs> and if you have if you have a free a couple of free dollars, go to modestneeds dot com and uh, go help somebody in need because there's some really good organizations that, or or find a food bank or something and help somebody because. You know, we're we're privileged as heck. More, some we of are. us more than others. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, Definitely. you know, if you can help somebody, you know, is it a dot com or a dot org? Uh, actually, it's modestnews.org. Sorry, but if you go to dot com, it will direct you to dot org. I just did it. Oh, okay, okay. awesome. Uh, last but absolutely in no way, shape, or fashion, least, Mister Goose, take us out, brother. Thank you, Keon, very much for having me on the show. It's always a pleasure not only to listen to your show, but to actually partake in it is an amazing honor. Uh, thanks to Aaron for showing up. It's really awesome. Great catching up. Mike J., I'm glad uh, you Thank got to make it on. Cody, what up? See you online, of course. Uh, shout out to everybody's families, everybody listening. This is you know trying times for everybody uh, being cooped up all this time. Uh, on the professional side of things, I do want to give a shout out to the ID at Xbox team. They have been fantastic while I've been developing my game. They have been the epitome of accommodating as well as providing me all of the resources and materials I need in the best way possible. Uh, I'm under NDA about all the uh, you know details about everything, but those guys are fantastic. If you're an indie developer out there and you have not actually spoken to the ID at Xbox team, always send a send a word out to them. They are fantastic. So. Uh, my game itself, it's going to be in the many, many months to come. I don't know how long it'll take me to finish, but I'm at the point where I'm uh, a playable game now, and I feel uh, good about it. So That's awesome, man. That is. Awesome. That's yeah. fantastic, man. Very, very well said, Goose, and a great way to end the show. So uh, I was uh, your host, Keon Mitchell, joined by Mr. Aaron from Game Enthubes. Yay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And there was much rejoicing. There's, there's the there's the enthused part speaking out. <laughs> it's so loud your ears are bleeding. <laughs> Mike J. Yeah, thank you again, guys. Uh, absolutely. Mr. Goose again and Mr. Cody Clark. Thank you guys for being here. And until next time when thank we you. do it again, always remember, it's not about the consoles. It's about the game. So you guys take care and have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.